tiniest, teeniest little apartments are 1600 a month, you know. I mean tiny. And, uh, uh, but this neighborhood, a lot of people want to live here because they're looking for high-paying Hollywood jobs and as close to studios and agents and agencies, you know, and uh, nightclubs and other ambitious young adults. It's good for networking. You know, like getting to know other people with like interests and contacts. Knowing somebody who knows somebody can be helpful. <laughs> That's why there's so many dog owners in the neighborhood. Not because they love dogs as much as they... <laughs> well, they probably, I'm sure they love their dogs, but... Um, they help you meet people quicker. You don't have to get drunk. <laughs> And you just start a conversation immediately. Okay. Uh. Okay. Welcome to Haddonfield, Illinois. This is the little town where they This is ha oh my god, the Halloween. House. The first Halloween movie was shot Halloween here in Haddonfield. Dude. This house with the the flag, this is where I'm on. Uh, homicidal maniac Michael Meyer murders the boy downstairs. Wow. And then he goes up, you know, he puts on a sheet and a voice for square glasses so the girlfriend thinks it's the boyfriend doing a Halloween joke. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they kills her. They don't show the killing of her, you know, with it. And then, uh, see the house with the black door painted black, great white, just yeah. like it was in the movie. Now, when Jamie Leaker, now she'd been babysitting, right, on the other side of the street. Uh -huh. She goes over here to find, you know, uh, finds out that you know, the boy falls asleep. So she can check on the teenagers, their dad. And uh, they've been killed in a bizarre way, and then he takes a lunge at her while she's still in the house, so she runs up to that door. <laughs> Rings the doorbell, the Porsche comes on, so you think they're going to help her, and then yeah. the Porsche goes back off. And then, and then, of course, she's locked herself out of the babysitting house <laughs> here on the left. And, uh, and she has to pound on the door really hard to wake up the kid. <laughs> oh, that's what she was thinking. Yes. Uh, now, the next, you have to watch this. You have to watch Pretty Woman again. You have to watch this. <laughs> I, it's my, I'll order you two. Um, when you first, when she, her parents drop her off here, you see this door just like it is with the glass and everything. And when she pounds on the door, they covered up the glass. It looks like a solid door covered up the... Yeah. Yeah. yeah because I think they're afraid she's going to bust the door. It is, yeah, she also, in the script, she has to pound up hard enough to wake up the kid, you know. And so, they didn't want to pay for broken glass and <laughs> take her to the emergency Hospital. room, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, they shot that movie in two weeks for $300,000, and it was one of the highest grossing movies of 1978. Just the first one. And I'm glad you knew what Haddonfield was. Well, because I looked it up when I first saw it a long time ago. I looked up Haddonfield on the map, and I couldn't find All right, it. Because yeah. I'm from Chicago. Okay. So I know about Illinois towns and cities. So I looked it up. I was like, there's no Haddonfield in Illinois. And sure as hell, they're just a made up town. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a fic yeah we, uh, but it's a fictitious town, but I physically took you there. That's you the did. Magic, magic <laughs> wow. Now, you know, I had, I had a little kid from, uh, from New Jersey and knows everything about her, every horror movie. Mm. He looked for Haddonfield. He said there is one in, in Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. <laughs> but not in, uh, not in Illinois. Uh, Illinois. Yeah. <laughs> And every, that's why I say welcome to have just to find out if somebody's know you know an expert on right. it. Right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on your left, the director Guild of America. That is one impressive building. That's why I give it a little sit though, because I am also practicing my Academy Award announcer voice. Here's a, here's a hundred and seventy thousand dollar. <laughs> Don't quit your day job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to be ready when the moment comes. Yeah. Uh, this is the Laugh Factory. This is a nice stand-up comedy club open since 1979. Anybody remember when Kramer went cuckoo, Michael Richards? Rit Michael Richards, this yeah. Before that happened. When he used the bad word? Yes. Yeah, over and over and over again. Yeah. He couldn't stop talking. He couldn't say anything funny. And this is also this, uh, you know what, on Tuesday afternoon, uh, Tuesday nights they have open mic night. Young comics come and hang out here all, all Tuesday afternoon. And uh, then they get the stage time. 